It is a few days before Christmas. It's a beautiful northwest winter here. It snowed all night and it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the advantages to living in the snow country. This gives us a good opportunity to discuss mounting for the solar panel systems and access. The pros and cons of ground mounted and roof mounted. The main reason why you went with a ground mounting system is for maintenance. I wanted to be able to access the panels for cleaning. The cleaner the glass is, the more protection I will have from the panels. This includes cleaning bird debris off of it, hosing them off to get dirt and dust off of them, and of course removing snow. Being in snow country, I wanted to make sure that I was able to access the panels, for example this morning, to remove the snow. As you can see leaning against the solar right here, I simply have a push broom and a six foot ladder. And with those two items, I'm able to completely clean off the solar panel array. Right now, the panels are not creating any power at all. And they won't with this snow sitting on them. Yesterday, just taking care of the panels, I came out and cleaned them off also. To my great surprise, even in 100% cloudy, foggy weather like this, we were producing more power than we were using. These are amazing panels, and I'm glad that I chose these high production panels. To see a list of all the components and the cost, click the link below this video where I break out every item that was used in the solar power system. Disadvantages of having a solar array on the ground is you need to have the space. Here we've got 2.3 acres and we have an open space to the south of us. Another concern is electrical shock and when the county inspector was inspecting this array he actually reached in as far as he could to see if he could touch the electrical connections from the panels. He could not and they explained that this needs to be quote child proof so children cannot reach in and touch those terminals. As you can see per code they have a wire mesh over all the electrical connections here and all the connections are sealed. Another concern about ground mount is that it needs to be structurally safe to withstand any winds. As I mentioned in a previous video this was built to withstand a minimum of 150 mile an hour winds from the back. As seen in that video, this array will withstand much more wind than that. With all those things in consideration, I decided for my situation I wanted a ground mountain system. After a few moments of brushing, the panels are clear. Now, that's just one of the functions of living in snow country. All around my community and in the city right now, people are getting out their snow removal equipment and cleaning off the sidewalks and the streets. I'm just doing the same thing here with my solar panels. When you're looking to mount your panels on your roof, you want the most amount of south-facing roof as possible. My house faces east and west, and so the only south-facing slope I have on my roof is over my back porch. And it's certainly not enough space to mount 21 solar panels. Now you can mount them on the east and west of the roof, but keeping in mind that's going to dramatically reduce the power that you'll be able to generate through the solar panels because the ones on the east will only be working at full productivity until the sun goes to the west. So that is not a favorable situation. Another thing you need to consider is what's going to shadow your panels. Here if I had my panels on my east I would have the chimney, my antenna, these pipes and so forth in the way causing shadow. The advantage is they are out of the way as far as safety. You're not going to have many children climbing up on your roof to play around with your solar array. That in mind, right now it would not be very safe for me to be climbing up on my roof to try to get snow off of the panels. An advantage to have them on your roof, if you've got a clearer view to the south, is that you don't have to take up any ground space. So if you have smaller property or maybe fencing or structures that would cause shadows, having them up on the roof may avoid having those problems if they were down on the ground. The county inspector was telling me that because we have high winds in this area, solar arrays were actually ripping the roof off of homes during high winds. Another advantage of having them on your roof is cost of mounting the system. It's substantially less expensive and time consuming to put up an array on the roof. You can easily install an entire array of 21 panels on your roof or more in one day. Whereas it took several days to drill the post holes 
cement in the post, let them cure, build the rack, and then put their array on it. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. I hope this short video has helped you consider some of the possibilities, pros and cons, of either a roof mount or ground mount system. I came back inside the house after I was videoing and decided to see on my website whether we're actually producing any power. And lo and behold, look at this. Even in this 100% fog, we're producing 2.5 kilowatts and we're sending 1.7 to the grid. We're producing, that's almost eight times more power than we're using. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It's very, very empowering being able to produce your own power. If you're considering it, please check the link below and get a hold of Trevor at Big Dog Solar and get a quote from him. It doesn't cost anything to ask and he's a great guy to talk to.